two firms, A and B, each currently dump 50 tons of chemicals into the local river. The government has decided to reduce pollution and from now on will require a pollution permit for each ton of pollution dumped into the river. It costs firm A $100 for each ton of pollution that eliminates before it reaches the river and it costs firm B $50. Let me write that down. Firm A is $100 per unit of pollution. In other words, to get rid of a unit of pollution is going to cost firm A $100. For firm B, it's going to cost $50 per unit. All right? So that's the basic data here. All right. Each firm is producing 50 units. So let's so Q here is equal to 50. Q units of pollution here is equal to 50. All right. Now, the government gives each firm 20 pollution permits. That means they have the right to pollute 20 units. All right. So now firm 2 gets 20 permits. Firm A, excuse me. And firm B gets 20 permits. More data. All right. Government officials are not sure whether to allow the firms to buy or sell pollution permits to each other. What is the total cost of reducing pollution if firms are not allowed to buy and sell pollution permits from each other? So here's the controversy. I can force each, I can give each firm 20 permits. That means firm A can only produce 20 units of pollution or only dump 20 units, even though they're producing 50. So firm A must get rid of 30 units of pollution. What's that going to cost? Well, it's $100 per unit times 30 units, so it's $100 times 30, that's $3,000. So it's going to cost firm A $3,000 to get rid of the 30 pollution quantity of pollution that it has because it only has permits for 20. It's only allowed to pollute 20 units of, of pollution. Now go to firm B. What's going to cost firm B? Well, they're more efficient in the sense it doesn't cost so much. So it's $50 per unit. They're producing 50 units. They're allowed to produce 20. They've got to get rid of 30. So now it's $50 times 30 or $1,500. Okay? So now the total cost of getting rid of pollution if the government does not allow trade of these permits is $3,000 and $1,500. So total is $4,500. All right. Second question then is, what is the total cost of reducing pollution if the firms are allowed to buy and sell permits from each other? So wait a minute, so wh wh why is this going to change? Well, look what's going to happen. You're going to see firm A go to firm B and say, can I buy your permits? Can I buy your 20 units of pollution? And let's say firm B says, sure, you can buy them. And let's say firm a offers some price that is greater than $50 and less than $100, right? If it's greater than $100, it can do it itself. So it's going to basically bid them away. So what happens is the 20 permits are sold to firm A. And now firm A has permits, has 40 permits. So I'm going to change this now. Then we'll see what I've done. Firm A has just purchased away the pollute, the permits from firm B. And now they have 40 permits, so now they only have to get rid of 10 permits themselves. So instead of having 30 permits to get rid of, they get rid of 10. That's 10 times $100 each. That's $1,000. I'll say it again. It's a little bit complicated. Before, they weren't allowed to trade permits. Now they are. So firm A, because it's expensive for them to get rid of pollution, goes to firm B and says, can I buy your 20 permits? And firm B is going to say, sure, you're going to pay me more than 50 bucks, but sure, you can have them. And some price between 50 and 100 is going to be worked out between these two firms. The point is, though, that these 20 permits now go to firm A. And now firm A only, ha they have 40 permits, 40, they're allowed to pollute 40 units. They only have to get rid of 10 now to meet the government standard. And so now 100 times 10 is going to cost them $1,000. But now, what happens to firm B? Well, firm B now has no permits. They have zero permits. So now they must eliminate all 50 units. So that's going to be the $50 times 
times the 50 units they have to get rid of, right? Because they have no permits left. They sold them. So 50 times 50 is 2,500 plus 1,000. So now the total cost is equal to 2,500 plus 1,000 is 3,500. And that's an important difference, okay? In other words, if you don't allow firms to trade the permits, you're stuck with each firm reducing by the same amount. By allowing firms to trade permits, the high cost polluters will reduce most of the pollution, excuse me, will buy the permits and the low cost of polluters will get rid of all their pollution and that's going to be a less costly way to get rid of pollution because that's really what government wants to do. They want to produce this result in the least costly way to society and to firms. And that's what we achieve with this kind of cap and trade. It's really a great example of cap and trade, number eight. So it's a problem I like a lot. I hope to give something like that uh, that you can basically use or, or see on the test. All right. So let me stop here because we have two new problems and it deals with something entirely different, but something that's in this chapter. So we'll come back and do problems nine and ten and we'll be done with the quiz for chapter ten.